As the seasons change, don't forget to make changes in the care of your feathered friends. Barb Brebner joins us live from For the Birds with more on caring for the birds in a new season. Good Hi, Barb. morning, Barb. Hi. We're having fun this morning. Did you see that last shot of the caterpillar? Yes. Yes, that's bird food. It's natural bird food. Yeah. And we were, Mike Poor and I caterpillar. were just sitting, yeah, we were just going through the book trying to figure out what kind of butterfly that's going to be. Oh. And Unless so a bird we gets kinda, it. Well, yeah, and that's true. We had about three of them out there, and so we're, that's our, our quest right now is to figure that out, and I, and, I, and I can't urge people enough to have good books. It's a reasonably priced thing that can make you enjoy your yard and nature even more. You can get bird books. You can get wildflower books. This one is a butterfly book, um, and it really helps you enjoy your yard more to be able to figure out what's there, and sometimes you'll discover that something shouldn't even be in this particular range. And wow, you get something that's very different and is kind of a surprise for the area. And there's interesting stuff. There's what they eat in the books. There's maps for what the ranges are. There's, there's the, the, like for the flowers, there's the times they flower. And it can really help you, and especially if you're birding and, and doing nature stuff with your kids or grandkids, it's a great way to keep track of stuff. And I always urge people, it's just a paperback book, write in it. Where, when you see the particular creature, um, where, what it was eating, what it was doing. You can always make notes in your book. It's not, not a horrible sin to write in a paperback book. And it's a, a wonderful way. I've kept track of everything that I've seen here at the store since we built the building. And it's a lot of fun to be able to look back and say, oh, those caterpillars are here then, or these particular birds arrive at a certain time. It's keeping a history of your property. Yeah, very cool. And of course, you have those books there for the birds. And, and Barb, i got to ask you a question. Maybe you think I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. They did it in the morning meeting, but I, I see seagulls um, all around these days, particularly really, really far inland. Is that unusual, or is it just me? Well, I think that their tra their their uh, territories have been increasing, and it's it's unusual. They're, they're, they'll come in looking for roadkill. They're they'll, they're very varied in their diet, so you'll find them a lot of different places now. Okay. And I wanted to yeah. see if the photographer, I don't know, is it Mike with you? If he could pan over mm -hmm. and show the building and how you've kind of created that um, oh. <laughs> space for the birds surrounding your building. Yeah, its own little habitat an there. An unusual business Barb has because <laughs> yeah, she, she hides building. her building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, it really does hide the building, but, you know, it's just full. And if you walk around out in there, we're kind of out back right now, but if you walk around in the, in the flowers, it's surprising what you'll scare up. And that was that, that caterpillar that we just found. It was kind of beautiful, and, and we just kind of wanted to see what it was going to be. And there's little rabbits in here. There's chipmunks everywhere. We have all different kinds of stuff. And there, just a little while ago, the kingfisher from the pond behind us was calling and diving for, for fish in the pond. You come here, and you can see all kinds of fun stuff. She's got quite, quite a bird habitat there. And speaking of that caterpillar, did you figure out what it's going to be? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but we did get a still store of it, so we oh, can. So we're showing it right now. Things. Pardon? We're showing it right now. Oh yeah. Well, we'd like, if anybody has any info, they can give us a call and let us know. There's a lot of them that kind of look similar, so it's difficult. But that has orange and white, uh, the stripes in the in the fuzz on the back of it, and then it has kind of some longer white ones on each end of it. So, if somebody has a clue, let us know. And if any birds are watching, we're not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> No, no, and there's actually several of them, and they're on the milkweed plants. Oh. So it's interesting that they're eating that. Barb, thanks a lot. And of course, no, you're welcome. If you have uh, any more, if you need any more information, just give Barb a call.